Aloha Kako. What is up? What is happening? What's going on? I know you guys can't see my face. I don't really want to be on camera today. I mean, I'm okay, but I look a little, you know, whatever, whatever kind. And I just, I'm not feeling it. And I feel like it kind of gets distracting. So I'm going to be, for the majority of this video, if not entirety, I'm going to be off camera. And uh, let's just take a moment to really breathe. All right, so I needed that because I feel like a lot of the times when you don't give yourself those moments to calm down off of any anxiety, stress, uh, just, you know, in general, those feelings of being worked up from your mornings or afternoons or whatever, whatever's going on in your day, I feel like sometimes we we don't dedicate enough time to, to reconnect with our natural selves. You know, we spend so much time on on or in man's law and it's conditioning to our spirits. So... Yeah, if you haven't taken the time to just get a few good breaths in, really work on your stretching, work on your posture, you know, really just taking a moment to reevaluate your stance, literally your your posture and your positioning here on earth. What are you prioritizing? What are you rushing off to do or to have or to be, you know? A lot of times we forget to just be still. And I, I'm parked here at the beach. Obviously, you guys can see I'm in the car, but I'm parked here at the beach and just enjoying this kakayaka, this beautiful morning. The water, the trees, the sky. I'm just really taking notice of those spirits that are all around us, that are right next to us, and that see within us. I'm feeling like a lot of us are really feeling this um, dramatic, drastic, uh, very significant change or shift in our lives it's definitely feeling like collectively there's a lot of shit being learned there's a lot of shit being flipped there's just a lot that we're all going through in different degrees and in different um, aspects of our lives but this is our learning process and not only that but this is a very very significant transitioning through the portal space um, a very significant spiritual growth spurt, if you will, because it almost feels like there's a lot of us ready to kind of just, all right, ready to beat this personal record of pain, you know, of how much pain can I tolerate? How much shit can I put up with? No, we want to reach beyond the bullshit. We want to get the fuck out of the cycles, the karmic cycles that we may have felt ourselves in time and time again throughout our lives. This is really feeling like some of us are here, like up here trying to get out of the space and some are just still kind of dragging, not want, not willing wanting or even able to make a decision knowing that things have to change but just not knowing how to facilitate that so let's see this is a time i get to connect with self and align it with divine in order to receive the truths that is meant not only for me but also for you guys out there so we'll see you know if this message is meant for a specific person but Yes, um, I just want to say quickly again, if I didn't already in the beginning, that I mahalo you guys for being here. It really means a lot to me just for the few views because truth is meant to be spoken. It's meant to be shared. It's not just meant to be harbored and hoarded within ourselves. So if I could help in any way, one person at that, find value and worth and growth and find their own deep truth, then I'm stoked because then I'm doing something that is beneficial to more than just myself so even though i'm kind of a very introverted i'm kind of like a extroverted introvert i can be but you know we all have those moments where it's like oh man i really just don't want to see people and i have been feeling i saw this reader the other day um i've never seen her before never seen her channel and she was giving a, a reading collective reading that i was like this is very on point can't see the motherfucking lie in this one and it really resonated so in it i remember she was saying that in it she was saying what i've been saying lately it is right now the time that we're going through these like storm energies but it's only to come out with the, the wisdom come out with the lessons learned you know come out and see the sun and feel it brighten up our spirits you know really plunge us into the happiness we deserve you know just being able to enjoy another beautiful day minus the storms but um anyway i don't know if i'm being congruent or consistent with where i'm going with that but I'm feeling the hope, but I'm feeling like, so what I was saying earlier was like, I'm feeling collectively there's a lot of us trying to go up and there's some of us eh, just not sure if that's 
that's the way they should be going. So let's just go off of this energy and see what Divine has to tell us. Immediately off the bat, we get one popped out. This one flipped. I know this is kind of an awkward angle, but I was trying to do a video earlier and my phone camera said it was too hot to record. So I want to get the phone out of the sun and that's why I have it so close and just here. So the first card that we got was water, vi. So this is water energy possibly, even our emotions that we're tuning into because maybe they were a huge part of your stagnant energy. Your water was not filtrated. Your water was sitting, stuck, right? Um, not flowing, not having that ebb and tide, you know, not having that high tide, low tide, like movement. That's what that's what's needed with water is constant movement and aeration. So this card right here is is giving off spirit, encouraging you. Um, speaking to you and saying you refuse to stay stuck. This is about you regaining your your sustainability, your flow, meaning emotionally, your allowance of, of processing the emotions in the proper way to transmute it into higher energy, higher vibrations. This is about connecting with your divine femininity. You know, you think of like women are like water, women are life. We are born from the waters of the womb. And, you know, when we have orgasms, we flow, we release, we cleanse ourselves in ecstasy. This is about more life. Soul is reconnected through vai, from the beach, rain, a long shower, sauna, etc. Like, this is maybe what you need. You need to jump in the ocean. Take a dip, a morning swim, preferably a natural water sense because there's always energy flowing, not like a pool. Where it's like kind of pumped in and filtrated and stuff. I, I, I don't do pools, but a natural clean water source, if you can find one, would be ideal. But yeah, uh, unfolded by the water are the faces of flowers. Flowers thrive where there is water, as thriving people are found where living conditions are good. Yes, and living conditions are good usually where there's all the natural resources that are needed to remain sustainable. You know, to feed your plants, to feed your, to, to water yourself, to clean and cleanse yourself. So, yes. And then we got on purpose. So this is about mindfulness. What are your intentions? Who are you becoming? This is what spirit really wants us to focus on. Take these baby steps through the, the portal of purpose. Can't even say that. Take these baby steps through the portal of purpose. Okay, that was hard. <laughs> what are your intentions? Who are you becoming? This is about self-evaluations and redirection. Watch how you move. Don't get stuck on your way to purpose. That's why we're reinforced with more vibe, more life, more divine femininity, more emotional flow and sustainability. All right, I had to um, plug in my phone real quick. Spirit saying, plug into source, plug into divine right now. Plug into your purpose, right? Connect to that light source, that energy source in order to fulfill the spaces within you with more light, more truth. Mahalo nui for the reminders. Now, when I went to go plug in my phone, I knocked down two cards in between my seat and middle council. And, oh, the, the first one I got was this. Mahiai. This is a farmer. So, which is funny because, well, it's not really funny, but I always tell myself, you know, if, if I really did things over again or had a chance, like I re I love a kane, uh, a man, a divine masculine that really knows how to sustain himself. And remember, we got vai. So you, your divine feminine is like the water. And your divine, the divine masculine is the, the kane that tends to the earth, the aina. To nourish the divine waters that flow through the aina. And brings forth and births or uh, creates the environment for more life, more plants, more keiki, more kids, you know, more people. This is like marrying the two. <sighs> earth and water. So farmer, um... This card is about reconnecting or grounding self to your natural food source. Never mind knocking out all of the chemical, chemically processed um, things that we put in our body that toxify that does not allow the aina, the land, the earth that you plant your seeds in. That earth is not a nutritious source for your seeds. So this, this card is reminding us to tend to your garden. Physical, spiritual, mental. Your soul garden. This is re-evaluating what you eat for mental and physical benefits, which ultimately aid in spiritual healing. This is your gut health. Eat to live, not live to eat. So maybe we're, we're in need of a fast. I'm feeling like this is telling us heavy detox. 
adding the nutrients that we need to sustain our seeds within our seeds of knowledge our seeds of truth or whatever may virgin and blossom into the light and then <laughs> spirit is reminding us that you bring joy to souls through your smile so smile more your smile gifts people's lives with the genuine light of your natural soul oh i also have take care of your teeth dentistry hygiene so maybe um I don't know, right now you might be having issues with your smile, but your smile, your teeth health is connected with your gut health. So this is reinforcing, um, so this is reinforcing essentially the need for our detox in order to take care of ourselves because it affects other aspects of ourselves that are needed to give more light and more light. So let's see what else. Mahalo divine. Oh, one minute to fall out. Reinforcing, reconfirming, and affirming our purpose for our detox, for getting more water and cleansing, right? This is about herbal remedies that are needed in order to in order to sustain or obtain a state of calmness, healing. This is healing your nerves, dispelling disease or doubt. All right, so more continued truth flow. We have tea, so we're really looking at our remedies randomly popped out photos hmm this is saying you are the true subject or muse in the center of their lens or eyes hmm. this is close observations of you maybe someone in particular or some people that might think they know you just based off of your looks maybe trying to read you really closely observing you but in a way that's like you know they enjoy seeing you and tend to view the history of your photos to remain close to you like maybe looking maybe through your your Instagram, trying to get closer, or I see that as like point of contact though, you know, really conjuring you up, manifesting you, manifesting maybe run-ins or something, because they stay close. This might even tie, in, tie into the dream card, you know, because you're so caught up in, in the observing to try to tie things together or to like assess or analyze someone's situation, um, that you might even start to conjure them up in dreams, in the dream world. But this is also saying, you know, just be aware of the paparazzi gossip energy. Because those tend to use things against you. What else? Hmm. I'm going to skip that. Moving on and see what else pops up. Divine truth. What flew out? I'm hearing refresh your feed. Stemming off of that, like, maybe going through your photo history, your timeline. Maybe it's time to refresh. You know, you're still the same essence of self. You are still the same authentic, genuine light of truth. Something fell. I wanted to be seen and get my attention. Spirit and your ancestors are watching you. And they're telling you, we got you. We will help you transform. You know, really tuning, tapping into nature um, in order to gain the insight on how to just be, be still, be tranquil when to push against the current, when to, you know, resist the winds of change. You know, the, the divine is watching you. You're being observed by them as well. And you've been observed for quite a while. Maybe you were one of those kids that have very um, connected experiences to the spiritual world. I know for myself, I resonate with that heavily. Um, a lot of interesting experiences. Truth, divine, hallelujah. Okay, what do we have here? <laughs> yes. And spirits reconfirming, which is so bizarre because my experience happened and I heard it in my head spoken to me by these entities beyond the veil that came out into this realm, but not fully. Uh, I heard it spoken to me from their, their minds or their consciousness that they'll be back. And we literally got, <laughs> spirit is watching you and they've been watching you for a while, observing you since you were a kid, letting you know you ain't from here. So this is gaining your attention to remind you to always show your truest colors. You know, make funny kind of. This popped up twice. Let me keep seeing what that energy is about. Two cards fell. Make an offer. Concrete jungle. Damn. So they make an offer. This this I channeled because it's basically saying you can't get truth and you can't expect divine to really have your back. I mean, you're always guided and protected, but you cannot just you cannot just expect. You have to make an offer. Your ancestors are at the altar asking, where my money at? You know, you always want to be eaten and benefiting off the truth, but you got that make truth money. Giving offers. 
What are you going to, to commit to, to sacrifice? You know, what are you going to gift to others? What's your purpose? And this leads into this card. So this is, I channeled recently, Concrete Jungle. So this is weird for me because I, I totally feel that song because I grew up out, outside of Philly and would frequent metropolitan areas like New York, Baltimore, Boston um, throughout my life. Somewhat frequently for a kid. And I love the energy, but it was heavy energy. Living in a city, there's a lot of shit going on. There's a lot of like, um, like lost souls. Concrete jungle, jungle, where the living is hardest. Almost like if you, you think of it or if you envision the movie Sixth Sense. Like, that shit is in people's apartment spaces, their homes, the streets. Like, just the fact that the, the other side of the veil is right in your face and you can't even see it. Most people cannot see it. But living in a city, I mean, there's so much heavy energy from the, the, the characters of the people that live in the city. But also, like, the history of the city has a lot of heaviness, darkness. Like, just a lot of his story. History. And when I channeled this, it's I channeled getting lost in a city. You know, like, get lost in a city. There's so much to overwhelm you with there's so many parts of a city that might be dangerous for you to to go through yeah so this is basically saying you are surrounded by it's the concrete jungle the city energy the heaviness of the parallel the heaviness of the spiritual energy in a city right but it's also letting you know it's you're living in a city of angels so even if you are in this city life or if you are uh if you're feeling like you're kind of thrown in the mix of having to be around a lot of people and stuff let's just say you are still divinely guided. This is about you being surrounded by and connected with a variety of energies and stimulations from the hectic environment that surrounds you. Cities are dense in spiritual presence. They surround the shit out of you. It, it's almost like suffocating, right? Um, you got a lot, of, a lot of mental health issues that may arise if you're surrounded by this energy. Um, but you are protected by angels. You live in a city of angels. They're watching out for you. Which reminds me, City of Angels, a movie. I haven't watched that in a while, so I might even try to look, look that up and take a, take a peek at that movie. But that, I think, is maybe where that card was channeled because I'm pretty sure it had the essence of being guided by divine angelic spirits. <sighs> speak soft. They speak soft to you. Like feather soft. But this is also about you being gentle with your words as a healer. You heal and mend brokenness with kind words, with soft spoken words. This is about healing hearts and inspiring. Inspiring them to find their happiness. To be at peace with their happiness. Ikalamai, my baby's getting. Ikalamai. Happiness. This is about the happiness you deserve and are worthy of. You are the sun. Don't let them steal your light. You deserve joy and happiness. Okay, let me take a quick break. All right, I'm going to try to hurry up a little bit. I got my son needed me for a second, but my phone keeps overheating. And so I want to hurry this this up. And I wish I had known to put my seat a little bit further back so it wasn't too awkward, I guess, of an angle. Hopefully that's not too bad. But anyway, let's continue on. Spirit was reminding us of your divine happiness. That comes from the sun source. Like when you sunbathe or you just look up at the sun, close your eyes and soak in that beautiful feeling of just more light circulating absorbing into your body it fills you with that joy that happiness that serotonin burst so let's continue with our flow and see what spirit wants to let us know okay. well, dreams maybe someone appearing in your dreams um maybe conjuring you up manifesting you or you manifesting or conjuring them up but to be honest this could also refer to you know divine granting you gifting you with confidence to expand your dreams expand the horizons don't set boundaries on your dreams of happiness and fulfillment Let's see. it's a beautiful kakayaka beautiful morning for truth and to set your spirit free free from the familiar traumas gen generational curses of your unhealed past this is your ancestors rooting for you wanting you to heal from it all and be free Mahalo, Kyakua. Mahalo, fine. That in and of itself, that is your spiritual team, your spiritual guidance is really telling you. You deserve to be free, to be happy, to be enlightened, you know, to be guided in healing and health and wellness. Wow. Mahalo, what was that? Wow, okay. Any other truth? Mahalo. Alrighty, so... These were our last two and these were our first two. First one, birthday. 
This is about your solar evolutions. This is where, exactly the path that you are on through this portal space of change, of transition. You are on your way to more joy, having more joy with your life, being content in fullness with yourself through all your realizations and actualizations. Forward movement. Yes. Yes. Move forward. Go ahead. It's okay. You won't make any changes standing still. Confidence gained that angels guide you. They'll talk. Do it. Because divine is ready and willing and able, capable of granting you your dream car. Remember, car is your health, your vessel, your spirit, your aura. And with your dream car, there's no issues. It's been paid off. It's safe. It's been repaired if there were any issues. It's in tip-top or new shape. This is about your spiritual safety being truly like covered over lifetime warranty. You can have anything you want every day forward. From dawn to dusk, dusk to dawn, your unique light is needed in ways you have yet to fathom. Transitions. Yes, a full circle, full circle of the day, right? Full circle from beginning to end. We're talking about our transitions, our changes, our shifts, our release of the past, karmic cycles. Universe loves the shit out of you and sees you through every dark night into a new day. You are guided and protected. Ja Army is all around. City of Angels, remember? This is a time of spiritual warfare, but we are anointed divine. So if you needed to hear this message, then I mahalo you for being here, showing up to receive it. And I'm going to cut this video short. Hopefully it finds you guys in good faith, in good love, in good light. So I will see you in my next video. And as always, love, light, and always aloha.